As two students in our second year of our degree, we should be considering what to do after we finish university and what a £7,800 degree can get you. We are making this documentary to see what other students want to do and investigate their chances of fulfilling their goals. Well, I think, uh, I think what a group degree does, it gives, this, it gives someone an opportunity to study for three years to really sort of um, um, challenge themselves and, uh, and learn about themselves in, in an environment that, that they won't have um, you know, when it comes to doing a job. So it's a completely different environment. So, um, and I think actually having a degree is, um, says a lot to employers in terms of um, you know, that, you've, that you've reached a certain academic standard, you've done certain things, you've actually challenged yourself and um, been keen to study something independently for three years at a university. So I think it is important, but, it doesn't, but it's no guarantee to getting a job. What's your ideal job for the future? Well, my ideal job is probably to start working in theatre for making set designs and all that because with me I had to start doing small stuff and then with that it can boost up my confidence than probably working TV and with that working to film. Uh, well, <coughs> I hope to, you know, look into maybe uh, the BBC, you know, the industry around that, maybe, um, maybe going like uh, freelance, uh, sound design, maybe make my own company. Uh, I'm not sure, I could sure as of yet, but um, I'm hoping to get a job as a sound recordist or foley artist or along those particular lines. <coughs> uh, my ideal job would be a screenwriter, freelance, um, hopefully I'm a manager who would have said, right, I'll manage your finances, I'll take a deduction and I'll just get you the jobs. And just basically sitting in like, a room somewhere and just writing and occasionally maybe directing if I don't trust the director to do a job properly. I want to get in the business somewhere. That's kind of one of the reasons why uh, I want to go out to America. It's to try and set up some contacts while I'm doing my uh, masters or my doctorate. Hopefully, uh, it's went away in that way. I'd like to be either a cinematographer or an assistant cinematographer, or work at Sky Sports doing some stuff like that. But realistically, I'll probably end up being a runner, a really low-paid runner at some. Well, Shitty TV okay. station. Oh, uh, yeah. I'll, I'll, people think that oh yeah, you'll go straight into the industry because you've done the course. You won't. You, you'll probably you will end up doing shit jobs until you're about fifty, and then you'll probably hit your peak. But when I leave uni, I'm probably just going to apply for every single job going, see what, see where I get, and then just take every day as it goes. There are several schemes set up around the country specialising in helping students find employment. One of these schemes is Net 315. The Net 315 give free advice and guidance to students who may not know how to get a foot in the door of their chosen industry. Another big decision students now have to face is the increased prices with some universities charging up to £9,000 per year. Are the sky high fees really worth it? Now, it is an historic plunge for the British economy, which caught out most of the supposed best brains in the city. Despite expectations and predictions that today's official figures would show that the recession had ended, output actually dropped by 0.4% between July and September, causing widespread surprise and shock. Britain is now, therefore, in the midst of the longest recession the country has endured since records began half a century ago. The recession had already hit when we started our course. I'm sure all of us hoped that by the time we finished our degree it would have passed. But as we now know, we are still in it, with Hull being one of the worst hit areas. How are people finding job hunting after uni? Trying to find work, trying to find any job to do with my degree has been difficult, but I think that's a personal thing about how I feel about how good I am. But just finding any sort of menial job just to get by is really, really difficult because there isn't any. When you're on job seekers, you get really disheartened by the fact that when you do apply for jobs, you don't get any response off of any of the um, employers that you ask for a job off of. You, you, you 
you just think, is, is there any point to, to some of it? And, and then when you do look for jobs, it's like you get, your, you get your hopes up that it might be worth it, and then it's just squashed there in front of you. The job centre doesn't help either, because it doesn't force you into situations. So do you think people should lower their expectations for what they expect from finishing uni? I think people shouldn't be so naive to think that they could just walk into um, the perfect job that they want. I don't expect that a lot of people are that naive, but I wouldn't say that they should um, give up on their dreams, but I think they should just keep at it, keep doing what they enjoy doing and try and put it out there whether it's through the internet or, or doing something that's... Um, a public event or anything like that, especially if it's I'm talking from my perspective as being an artist or like you as being into film and video and stuff like that. I think people should move away to find better jobs. Yes, because there'd be more opportunity, but moving to a different area might mean leaving friends and family behind. Do people want to do that? And moving to places like down south or other cities, uh, the cost of living will go up, so I don't know if we'd be any better off, but um, I certainly want to. I don't really see myself um, staying in Hull forever. I want to go somewhere a bit more exciting. I think Hull tries very hard to be cosmopolitan and interesting, but it always seems to fail. Many people we know have had to leave the country after finishing their degree just to get a job that they wanted such as Kelly, who studied at Hull School of Art and Design and now living and working in Korea, as well as Lee, who studied Game Design, also living and working in Korea. This is also the case with Lena, who studied Graphic Design, now living and working in Norway. Is this going to be the case for most of us? Uh, do you think the recession has, helped, not helped, but like um, decreased the number of jobs in the community? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> of course it has. <laughs>